Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm really excited to do this video today because I absolutely love watching these. It never gets old. I love hearing about everybody's um, favorite makeup palettes. So yes, this is the perfect palette tag. I have quite a few palettes, so this is a really unique and fun tag. So you actually go through your palettes and think about what you use and don't use and what you really like. So let's jump right in. There are eight questions to this tag. And um, so I had to actually think about some. Um, I tried not to repeat um, too many palettes, even though I could have for a couple of the questions. But let's begin. Number one is best packaging. Um, and I'm going to give this to a palette that I think is cute, not necessarily is it the you know best quality, even though it's a um, really good quality palette. But I absolutely love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Catwalk Palette. I am obsessed with cheetah print. I love it so much. I love that it is like soft and velvety and the gold packaging with the black. Oh, I think it's so pretty. And it doesn't hurt that the inside then is a fun blue and green cheetah print as well with all these fun colors. So I do use this palette quite a bit. The pigmentation is really nice. I've been really getting into the Anastasia products. So this definitely wins for cutest packaging for me. Number two is best color payoff. And I have to give this to Urban Decay. Um, these are the Naked 2 and 3 palettes. Um, I have the number one, but I'll talk about it later. Um, I have a couple of the Vice palettes and some different things. I just think no matter what palette you get, the majority of all the colors are super pigmented, super pretty, unique shades. Now, not, you know, every shade is a winner, um, but that's with any palette. But I think overall, as a brand and a whole, they deliver some of the best um, pigmented eyeshadows. Number three, most versatile. And this one, I finally decided to go with the Lorac Pro. And the reason I thought, you know, it was the most versatile is because I feel like with this palette, um, and I know you've all seen it, I feel you can get so many different looks just because, you know, the top row, of course, is all mattes and the bottom row is all shimmer. I feel that, you know, this is a one and done. I feel like you don't have to drag a bunch of other colors um, with you, um, pop this in your suitcase, and you're good to go. And the colors are so creamy and buttery and pigmented. This is an absolute, it's just a dream palette. I love it. Number four, best for travel. Now, really, a lot of these you could travel with. Absolutely, I've traveled with my Naked Palettes, the Lorac Pro. Um, I feel those are all, but I picked these two just because you get a couple other products with them. And the first one was um, a limited edition Too Faced um, by Sephora palette. This was for the 15 um, year, I guess, collaboration that Too Faced has been with Sephora. But this is so cute. The top section, you get two rows of eyeshadows there. You get 12 eyeshadows. Um, you do get, looks like just one is matte, um, which is this brown color. And the rest are either um, satin or, you know, shimmery with a little bit of glitter. But then I really love the bottom. You get um, the bronzer, which you get the coveted chocolate Soleil bronzer, which everybody loves because it smells so good. Um, in the middle is the um, Sun Bunny bronzer, and then you get this beautiful um, pinky peach blushy. This really reminds me, if you can see that, of Orgasm um, by NARS. It's really, it's a little powdery, but pigmentation and the color is absolutely gorgeous. And you get a small shadow insurance as well as a little brush. Now, this is, I think, um, the best for travel just because you get so much. 
the flip side, I still think you have to add maybe a couple colors just because this matte here is a bit dark. Um, and sometimes I tend to like definitely a lighter shade for kind of that transition color. Um, but other than that, I mean, you could, you know, get a couple wearable looks or make it um, fun with a pop of color. And I also grabbed this one by Too Faced, um, same brand, but this is the Glamour to Go palette. This is on sale actually right now on the Sephora website. But this top um, section here is, there's eight shadows. Now, I just traveled with this actually. Um, all the shadows that I used were super, super nice, except for this one right here. Oh my gosh, this one guys was so glittery. I had glitter everywhere and I even used a sticky base. So it's so powdery, like you, it's just, it's gotten everywhere. Other than that shade, the rest of the colors are really nice and really, really pretty. Um, and then if you just slide out this bottom part here, you get um, a blush on this side, which is just a pinky peach blush which is a little powdery, but still pretty. A bronzer, and then the middle is a, um, see if you can see that, um, is a lip gloss. Now, I haven't used the lip gloss, and I'm not going to. I hate when companies stick a sticky, goopy lipstick gloss in the middle of two powder products, especially when these are super, super powdery. Um, I think that's disgusting, so I won't use that. But overall, this is just a cute little, if you're going away, um, just for a weekend, or um, you want to throw this in your purse for touch-ups, this is perfect. Next is the biggest regret. Now, not that this was a expensive palette by any means, because it was not, but I think I've only used this once, and I bought it for two reasons. First off is the packaging, and second off is I was really into the show that this palette was inspired by. And it is the Oat, or Hot, however you want to pronounce it, Jersey um, Leopard Couture palette by NYX that they um, came out with for the Jersey Licious show. Let me know uh, down in the comments if y'all watch that show too. Um, but anyway, I mean, it is a cute, cute, cute. Let me cover this huge mirror up here. So yeah, you get a huge mirror. You get this whole side of eyeshadows. Um, you get 24 eyeshadows. And then the mirror is so cute. It says, who's the prettiest diva in the world? Who cares? Have fun. So that's so cute. I Normally I find NYX eyeshadows to be super pigmented. But the ones that I had used in this palette were so flaky and powdery. They were awful. Um, I did not like them. Now the other side I haven't played around with very much. So I might like this side um, better, but this actually has um, three different bronzers. It has a light, medium, dark. Um, then it has the little um, kind of cheetah print. Um, you could use it as a, you know, all over blush, highlighter sort of thing. Um, a pink blush and a peach blush. And then two lip glosses. It looks like a pink and then a nude. So this side is really, really cute. Um, but like I said, when I did the look with the eyeshadows and it did not turn out nice at all, it was a big disappointment. And like I said, I haven't picked it back up. The next one, number six, is Best Color Names. And I noticed watching um, a couple other gurus that I really like, um, they picked this exact same palette too. And this is the first one I thought of when I was going to do the tag. And it is the Nude Toot Palette by The Bomb. They have such cute names in this. And this palette is so amazing. Um, you get this huge mirror. Which let me, I don't want to blind you there. But look at this. You get like the little pin-up girls on the inside. Um, the colors are so pigmented and creamy. And some of the names are sexy and sultry, snobby, sassy. So just super, super cute. Um, I love it. This is definitely a good palette to pick up. You won't regret it. Number seven, least used. I have two in this category um, because these literally, 
I use them, but it is very rare. It's not that they're bad palettes. They're just palettes that I don't reach for as often. And the first one is sort of new for me. Um, it's the Smashbox Full Exposure. Now, when you open it up, it has a large mirror. And it's kind of similar to the Lorac um, Pro Palette, where this whole top half um, are shimmery and glittery, and the bottom half are matte. I love this double-ended brush that comes with it. Um, it is, this side here is for the shimmer. You can see it, it has kind of like two sides, like a syn synthetic side and then like an actual hair side. And then it has a nice um, blender brush as well. So that brush is really nice. And I don't know why I don't reach for this because it's so pretty. Um, I think it's the glittery shades are really glittery. Um, they're almost um, rough to the, the touch. They're not like creamy. You can really feel the pieces of glitter, like real chunky. And I don't care for that as much. Um, with a stickier base, they stay better. Um, but I find even with some of these more matte shades, it takes a little bit to actually build up the color. So I need to play with you know, around with that a little bit more. Let me know if you all um, have this and the best way you have found to work with that top half the glitter um, section. And the second one that I don't reach for as much and definitely not because I don't love it is the Urban Decay Vice 1 and Vice 2 palettes. Um, the Vice one I keep at work in case the girls want to play and have me do their makeup. But this one, oh, I do love it. The colors are so gorgeous. I know you've all seen this. Um, but I guess it's, I, I tend to do a more neutral eye every day. Um, so I reach for more of these more neutral palettes. Um, but this is definitely something that I pull out if I do want that pop of color um, or if I want to do a really bold eye. I do love it. It's just not reached for as often as my other ones. And again, this one comes with a double-sided brush, which I absolutely love. It's great quality. So don't let that um, deter you from picking up this palette because it's lovely. It's just not one, if you're like me, who reaches for their neutrals a bit more. And the last question, the most used, most loved, if you're on a desert island, which one would you want? And I had to give it, out of all these palettes, I truly just had to go with the original Naked Palette by Urban Decay. It's travel friendly. Um, the colors in it are just, they're just awesome. You get such a good range of, you know, really light neutrals going into your golds, browns, and taupes. And they do throw in, you know, the, the real pretty kind of purpley taupey colors and then your gray and that kind of, um, the black color. You get the, when I first got mine, it came with the double-ended pencil. I think now it's a brush. But, so, you know, I still have that. So I don't have to pack an extra eyeliner. Oh, I just love this so much. I need to pull it out and get using it again because I've really been trying to go through my makeup and use something different every single day instead of being, you know, caught in a rut where you pick up the same colors, the same, you know, palette. Um, but this definitely by far was like the best $50 um, I ever spent. I really, really like it. But anyway, I would absolutely love to hear from you guys. Um, you know, if you had different answers than me, what palettes you thought, you know, were the best. Um, what's your most loved, your most used? Because if I don't have it, I may want to check it out. Um, you know, I don't think you can ever have enough palettes, right girls? <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye, guys.